Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the Body Beat Down here, Michael, on this Tuesday afternoon, 2 33 p.m. to be precise. So, today we got a little unboxing to do. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know that uh, I like to do unboxings. And uh, a lot of my unboxings have to do with what's back here on my wall. And uh, that's what's in this box. So uh, I collect action figures from the Netflix animated series, uh, Masters of the Universe, Revelation, Revolution, uh, animated show, uh, the He-Man animated show. So uh, there's a couple on there on Netflix, don't get them confused. One is looked at as Masters of the Universe CGI, which is uh, aimed more towards kids, but it's not really any more childish than the one that I watched, uh, you know, the one that I collect for. I don't know why they call it the CGI, I guess because it kind of looks more CGI-ish. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. But uh, anyway, uh, I collect the ones from the Masterverse line uh, from the show. And the Masterverse also has New Eternia. Uh, it's a subline in there as well. And uh, so it's just, it, it can get confusing if you don't pay attention. So, but I may have a little something extra, a little different from a different line in here. I may have. So, let's uh, do a little unboxing. And uh, FedEx has been a little bit iffy here the past couple of deliveries. So I don't know what's up with FedEx, but uh, they need to get something figured out. Last week, my new cage got delayed. I got one box, like on a Friday or Saturday, and then on Monday I got the other two boxes. They should have been all on the same truck and dropped off the same day. This was supposed to be here yesterday. Got delayed until today. I don't know. So, let's see what we got. So first off is gonna be a, kind of the, the one that I don't collect for, the line that I don't collect for. It's the Classics line. Not the Classics, I'm, I'm wrong. It's the Origins line, but it's the Cartoon version line. It's a big, they got too many different categories. But uh, I seen this when it was released. It was just released just some short time back. And I thought, man, that's really great. But I don't I don't collect for that line. So eventually, a week ago, I said, man, I, I got to get that. I, gotta, I have to go ahead and get it. Because you know it's something different. And it's something that's not really been released to look like this. And it's very different. So I had to get it. It's a sticker from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. You know, I've been wanting one of these forever, and uh, well, I finally got it. <laughs> Just kidding. Anywho, we have a very good version rendition. Sorry for the light, the glare. You can go online and look at better pictures, guys, uh, of Prince Adam and Cringer. No, we haven't really had a real good Cringer released in any line of the Masters of the Universe. Even back in the 80s, he didn't look like Cringer from the show. As you'll see, this says the Cartoon Collection. That means that they tried their best to make these as close to the 80s cartoon as they could. And uh, they did a pretty good job. I'd say Prince Adam is off just a hair but uh, overall it's a very good rendition again i'm sorry about all the glare and stuff i don't know why they do that so bad 
But uh, what I like about this is number one, how it's packaged, where you can see all the stuff, all the art. Uh, I mean, uh, all the all the characters and everything, head to toe. You can see them all. And then I love the art up here in the top of the box. Uh, it's all nice and colorful. It all pops. Really gives you that 80s vibe. Uh, little side panels here. The back. Great art on the back. Some good stuff. Another side panel. So, overall, I'm really happy with this. And I'm glad I went ahead and got it in my collection. And I, again, I don't collect for this line. But I had to get this. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's a good little showpiece right there. And and this one here is. Uh, let me go ahead and say uh, I hated the Masters of the Universe movie that came out in 1987. Horrible, horrible, and there's a lot of reasons why it was horrible but nothing it's not an excuse uh, it was a bad excuse for for a bad movie and uh, I've sworn that movie off I hate that movie I watched it in theaters when it came out and I about wanted to cry as a older kid young a teenager whatever however old I was in 87 and uh, I think I've watched it one time in my life since then and then I watched it again uh, not too many, not too many months ago, I watched it, and I gave it a pass. You know, I, t I tried to just accept it for what it is, crap. But I, I tried to pick out some of the good, and uh, and since they don't really make the figures for this movie all that often at all, uh, they released them for the Masterverse line, which is what I collect for. And uh, so uh, this is the next character in line that they released. And it is uh, Beast Man. So this is the movie Beast Man from the 87 Masters of the Universe movie. And uh, yeah, if any of you were fans of Masters of the Universe in the 80s and you've seen that movie, you probably wanted to cry too. So it was, it was bad. And... Uh, that's the rest of the line that came out. I've already got those. I've already done an unboxing with those. You can check that out if you want. Uh, if you go to my YouTube playlist, it's probably going to be in the random section. In the random playlist. So, I mean, some decent artwork there. And uh, I, like these, I like these new boxes that they went with, sort of. I wish that they did show more of the character. They only show from about the waist up or so. Uh, the original boxes that they started with Revolution, or Revelation, I should say, uh, showed the whole character. You know, the window was bigger. And then uh, they ended up switching over to these kind of boxes. And uh, they're okay. They're all right. But I like the other ones better as far as the window goes. Now, I am a box collector. That means that I don't take my things out of the box. I don't open them. Uh, and, uh, so I, I like to make sure my boxes look good. And uh, they always look good. Anytime I get them from a big bad toy store, they're always in good condition. So I'm glad to have this one, uh, even though it represents the movie. I'm glad I have it. And uh, this one here is kind of a big unboxing, a kind of a big surprise, kind of a whatever. It's a something. It's a box inside of a box. So, this one here is kind of a, a special edition, special release kind of a, a thing that they did. And, uh, let me get my knife again. This one is a real collector's piece. And, uh, really cool. I hate to open it, but you gotta open this. This is part of the box that I don't like to open, but you gotta kinda do it to get to the other stuff. 
So sometimes you got to make exceptions. Come on now. No. I'm sharpen my knife. That's all dirty. So this one here is going to consist of two pieces. I think. Maybe. So. Okay. So what we have here is failure to communicate. No. What we have here is a special edition uh, Skeletor with the uh, the Havoc throne, the whatever the whatever the heck the throne is. Maybe the Havoc throne. I don't know. I don't forgot. From the Bone Throne skeletons, from Bone Throne, blah blah blah. Anyway, Bone Throne. That's what they call it. Uh, so anyway, boom throne. So uh, it has a little throne that you put together, and it has the Skeletor figure as well in a separate box. Uh, now again, I gotta open it right there. I don't want to open it. But uh, I will. as I can. So, the packaging on this looks really good. Got Merman and Beast Man there. You got kind of a thing written there of what this is and all that. And you got Evil Inn and Panthor. And then Skeletor and kind of a snake going up on top from the back, goes up to the top. Jigsaw puzzle. So the throne is in here. This box is really cool. It's textured. All the stones and all that's textured. That's pretty cool. That on front, Skeletor, Bone. Pretty cool how they texturized it. Let's see what we got. I got some hair. I've always wanted some hair. Anyway. So I really don't want to mess with it, but it, it has I think it has little LED lights in the little torches that are on the throne. So that's pretty cool. Um, if I decide to put this together, I'll do like a little separate video and kind of show it. But uh, I really don't want to put it to together right now and mess with it. I mean, it looks it looks fairly easy to snap together, but uh, I'll do that another day. I hate to mess with it too much. Now, I don't do that because I think that these are going to be worth anything. I don't think... I don't think too many things are worth... Like money like they used to be from toys of my era and before. 
but I just I do it because I like to keep things new looking and uh, I don't play with them I collect them so and this is the Skeletor that came with him that came with the, th the throne he looks pretty cool now I've got about 10 Skeletors over here that they keep releasing so I wish they would quit releasing Skeletors and He-Man and a couple of the other figures but that's not going to happen so you're not going to be able to, s to get a good idea of this Skeletor but he does have a good look to him nice and colorful with the, the breastplate and all that kind of stuff looks pretty cool side panel again you can go online if you're that interested in uh, you know the artwork and all that kind of stuff you can go online and check stuff out the bone throne I guess that's a interesting name so okay So not too bad, guys. Uh, pretty good little, pretty good little figure there. It's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I got these, and uh, like I'm always glad whenever I get them. Uh, I enjoy them. Uh, it took me many, many years before I started to even collect these kind of things. Now I had them all when I was a kid in the '80s. I had all the castles and the vehicles and the animals and the uh, I, I literally had everything you could want. Um, if there was one thing about me as a kid, I was spoiled. But I was, I was worth it, you know. Anyway, luckily I had a good mom and a good grandma, and uh, they, they spoiled me, and uh, I had a good childhood. So, anyway, guys, it's taken me a long time to decide if I wanted to collect again. And and once the new series came out on Netflix. And then I realized that they were going to release figures for it. I said, this is where I'm going to jump in. I'm going to start collecting right now and uh, collect these new figures for the new show. So that's what all this is back here on these shelves. And uh, that's what this is. So uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the little unboxing. Uh, I know I do, and I can't wait to get these on my shelf and uh, get them set up. So. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this, and uh, if you would, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your He-Man collecting host, and uh, don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and enjoy the little things in life like this, and don't let anyone talk down to you and belittle you and make you feel stupid for enjoying things like this. We're allowed to enjoy whatever we want. All right, especially when it's not hurting anyone. All right, we'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.